All right, so in this case, basically, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to be looking at is, again, oops, I'm sorry, that's an x. So the first thing I like to do, guys, to really try to make this, um, really try to help you out with this is always trying to identify the LCD first. If we can identify the LCD, that's going to help us because remember, that's what, that, is, uh, that is what we're going to need to have, the same common denominator in, uh, to be able to add our fractions. So the first thing I always like to do is just write out LCD. And then what I like to do is look at this separately. If you guys remember when we were using the rules of exponents, I kind of broke it down, especially the quotient of the rules of exponents. I broke it down using the numbers as one problem, and then the x variable is one problem, the y variable is another problem. Well, this is kind of the same thing. When you're determining the LCD, let's first determine the LCD of 7 and 4. Okay? So the LCD of 7 and 4, the smallest number that they both divide into, is actually the product of 7 and 4, right? which would be 28. 28. Then we just look at the variables and say, well, the least common denominator of x and x is fortunately for us just x. So now all I simply need to do is multiply each of my fractions by, a, um, by a, uh, another fraction that's going to produce my equivalent clack, uh, my LCD in the denominator. So from 7x to get that to be 28x, I'm going to multiply by 4 over 4. And for 4x to be 28x, I'm going to multiply by 7 over 7. Again, ladies and gentlemen, be very, very careful in understanding that whenever you're multiplying, we have to produce equivalent equations. Whenever you multiply in the numerator, you have to multiply in the denominator when we are obtaining the LCD. So if I obtain negative 8 over 28x minus 35 over 28x, now I have common denominators. If I owe you $8 and I borrow $35, I now owe you, I owe you $43. OK, 